Hi, this is Nev Lapwood, snowboardaddiction.com. We're at Whistler Blackcomb, and this is a tutorial video on how to do the Cavalerial. The Cavalerial is a skateboarding trick. It's a fakie 360 ollie and became famous by the pro skater Steve Cavalero. In snowboarding, a lot of people refer to a switch frontside 180 as a cab 1, switch frontside 3 as a cab 3, and switch frontside 5 as a cab 5, etc. This is actually incorrect naming. A switch front 3 and a cab 3 are different tricks. It's only a cavalerial if you pop from the nose of your board while riding switch. A fakie ollie 360. That's what it is in skateboarding and technically in snowboarding as well. I consider it a buttering and flatland trick because you can do it anywhere. Plus it works really well off rollers and cat tracks. The Cavalero is done just for style. It looks different because not too many people do it. This tutorial breaks down the stepping stones of how to learn them. Step 1. Switch frontside 360s. You have to be able to do switch frontside 360s. They should be really easy for you on jumps, but more importantly, you got to be able to do them on the flat ground off nothing. While riding switch, Initiate your switch front 3 with your heel edge and a little wind up. Make sure you have a strong switch ollie as more pop makes it easier to get the full 360 around. Switch front side 360s come pretty natural for a lot of riders. You'll probably be surprised how easy they are. Quick, poppy, little switch front 3s. Our 360s videos have a more detailed breakdown of how to learn 360s. Step 2. Fakie Ollie For a fakie ollie, you pop from the same leg as an ollie, although you're riding backwards, so popping from your switch nose. This is quite a bit trickier than a standard ollie. Start by feeling this on a flat area. Look in your switch riding direction, put a little weight on your back foot, shift your board through to the switch nose, pop the fakie ollie, and even back up onto both feet. It's definitely awkward popping from the nose of your board while riding backwards, so practice this lots until it's easy and comfortable. Getting the pop on the fakie ollie is important to make a cabalerial look stylish. Step 3. Half cap. The most important stepping stone trick is the half cap. The half cap, as the name suggests, is half a cabalerial. It's very similar to a switch front side 180, but you're popping fakie from the nose of your board. Start this movement with your board off. Then try doing it on a flattish, mellow run. Use your heel edge to initiate the rotation. If you watch closely, you'll see that I'm already initiating the rotation before I pop the fakie ollie. Be sure to keep your weight over top of your board for balance. A subtle but important part is to put a little weight into your back foot as you approach. This allows you to shift more momentum into your nose to pop the fakie ollie. Getting a strong pop on your half cabs is very important and essential if you want to turn it into the full cavalerial. Step 4. Cavalerial. Once you've got the half cabs dialed, you're ready for the real trick. The cavalerial, aka cab 3. Start by jumping on flat ground to feel the movement. A full cab requires twice the rotation of a half cab. Wind up slightly, fakie ollie, 360, blind landing, and look into the new direction of travel after you've landed. The first 180 movement happens pretty easily. The second 180 uses a counter rotated movement in the air where your upper body and lower body rotate against each other to complete the 360. With your board on, approach on your heel edge using the same entry path as you would for a half cab. 
using your heel edge helps to initiate the momentum required. Your rotation starts before you pop the fake ollie. If you watch closely, you'll see that my board hasn't even left the ground until I'm at about 90 degrees. Once you're in the air and halfway through the trick, counter rotate the second 180 like doing a back one and land blind. You may land your first few at 270 and slide the rest. It's all part of learning. If you're having trouble getting the full 360, then continue to practice half cabs and backside 180s until they're both very easy for you. Then, combining these two tricks together is what makes a cavalerial. A common problem is that riders just don't get enough pop from the nose. If you're not getting good pop, it kind of looks like an awkward little 360. It is really important to get a strong pop of your nose because that's what makes this trick look good and that's what cavalerials are all about. Fun, floaty, stylish cab threes. Step five, style. Once you can do the basic cavalerial movement, you can take it to other features. One of the best places to do them is off any kind of roll. For example, the knuckle of a park jump is perfect. It gives you a bit of extra hang time so you can slow it down and relax your rotation. You get higher off the ground than you normally would and it makes it look good. Make sure you're very confident doing switch front threes and half cabs off knuckles with speed. You can also try to stall out your spin by slightly pausing your rotation mid trick in the air. This is another way of adding extra style, but it can only be done with more speed and height. Summary. The Cavalerial is a fun, stylish buttering and flatland trick. It's very similar to a switch front three, but is more technique as you pop from your nose. It's safe to learn and it's all about how stylish you can make it look. This is Nev Lapwood, snowboardaddiction.com. Our goal is to improve your riding.